So what's popping, fams? Today, I'll be bringing a new kind of thing to this channel. Since playing too much Destiny can get stale, and since the content right now is really dry, even more so in the PvP side, until the new expansion comes out, or whatever comes out, next content drop, content drop, whatever. <laughs> so, I thought I might be playing some of my... I wanted some nostalgic feeling, and... You know, thirst is a throwback, so I said, hey, why not try to bring something back from my childhood that I really enjoyed? And one of those things would be the Sonic franchise. Believe it or not, Sonic, Son the Sonic franchise played a really big role into my, uh, as I was developing as a child. Gave me some very enjoyable moments. Very enjoyable. Um, around the time that I was able to play video games, or started playing video games, one of the most... At this point, Sonic had been the, on the decline. Sonic Adventures proved to be pretty well, but the real game that put them back on track was Sonic Adventure 2, I believe. And that's the game I got. And that got me really into the Sonic franchise and so on. And that was, was a, I think it's Sega, Sega Genesis. I think it was the Genesis. <laughs> Anyways, enough of the history of video games. For me, that's how Sonic became this this generation this generation culture for me like i became one of those fans I, it wasn't it wasn't mario that brought me into the video games it was sonic though i did really love mario at the time too i even had a nintendo 64 super 64 i believe and i played a lot of mario games but sonic became my favorite of the two and so the game i'm playing right now is actually probably the one that i enjoyed most in my childhood uh, this was around late of my childhood this game was made in 2008 this is a sonic rush adventure and uh i spent lots of time into this uh the reason i got this game as i was growing up is because when i was still a kid around 12 no no sorry sorry um when i was this game came out into the original game came out in 2005 and so i was around I would say 8 or 10 around that time. Can't, I'm not good at math at this point. <laughs> I'm not really trying to focus on what age I was. I was young. I bought Sonic Adventure. Uh, I really liked it. I completed it. And I gotta say as a child for me to complete that game. I must have put in some hours. Because I was just replaying that one. And oh lord. The first few stages are just annoying to get like a high grade on. Yeah you could finish it but it takes a while. Especially that one part in the water. Anyways moving aside from that. So I decided to say, hey, this is this will bring me a nostalgic feeling because this was my favorite Sonic game basically in any part of my childhood. Sonic Adventure 2 was great and everything, but this one I really enjoyed because at this point I just had an, a DS. I didn't really plan on getting a PS3 or anything at this point because I was a kid and I wanted to leave games, video games at this point. Didn't really want much associated with them no more. But this was one of the last games I got as a resort of that. And so, there's just many things that this game brings to me. It brings me such joy. It was one of the better Sonic games that's been released in that point. I mean, the dreaded Sonic 06, Shadow of the Hedgehog. I mean, the best games are basically on this DS. That's the only thing that saved that Sonic franchise. So regardless here, you'll see that I'm just... I'm skipping most of the tutorials, but I didn't skip this one because... First of all, I'm playing on PC, the controls are a little different. And second of all, I don't think I would remember the controls. It's been around how much? I'll say 2012 was the last time I played this game. Like, and that's actually pushing it. I would say actually 2011, 10. So let's say a good four to five years I haven't played this game. I still remember some of the stuff. I still remember that I love the first few stages, as you will see. Uh, I definitely love this part. The swimming part, I mean, it, it's the, I must say, this is probably the best, besides Sonic Colors, because this, I know Sonic Colors came out also for the DS, I know it came out for the Wii, um, this was probably one of the better 3D, if you can even call it 3D features in the DS, like, out of any game, I mean, I didn't play too many, but I know that for 2008 software, hardware, all the above, them to create this kind of thing was Sonic Team put some effort into this Sega. They they put some effort into this one. 
and I really loved it. I even as a child I could realize it took some effort to put that into a DS. So I give this game a lot of cred. Though it doesn't come without its flaws. As I noticed, I'm recording this after I played it, but as you will notice, there is actually a huge, huge problem with not huge, but the thing is I think the Sega team tried too hard to incorporate some 3D features into the DS when of course it wasn't really capable of doing that into the 3DS so you know it's just it is what it is I struggled a bit with the mouse <laughs> oh, I wish I really did have a stylus at this point to be honest <laughs> I remember doing so anyways this series will be called just not throwback Thursday but more like a I'm gonna do a series it's not gonna be like oh one game per week no I'm gonna do more like a series thing like I'm gonna play this game until it's done, but I'll only post videos on Thursday about it. Everything else will probably be Destiny or any other games that I'm very interested in. Like I'm trying to get Overwatch, but Overwatch is kind of a it's kind of a thing I'm really trying to pick because I'm probably gonna get the PC version and the PS4 version just to feel out console and PC. Because PC clearly is probably gonna be the best. But I'm probably gonna play on PC with a controller just because I've played Destiny's been probably one of the bigger things I've been focused on. One of the times, one of the things I spent a lot of time on over the past two years or around. I mean, yeah, I still had ball, I still had school, but I mean, I still played like at least three hours a day. Well, almost five times a day. Five times. <laughs> no, 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 don't get me wrong. I played this, I played Destiny at least on average in the last two years three hours for five days I would take some days off and there was times when I didn't then again I had a f uh, in between the dark below and the house of wolves I did take a three month break just to not play video games at all and I took a recent break of about two months no a month month because half of it was also spending working on that montage which is a, it's a work of cool and right now I'm pretty much on, last week I played like 2 hours of video games, period. And that's still pushing it because uh, I had exams, had a lot to study for, I am a college student, <laughs> studies are more important to me, but I mean I've always been a student that succeeds without really needing much effort. Um, many people criticize me for it, they should think, hey if you got the talent why not try harder, but I'm not sure my brain doesn't work like that. <laughs> But I mean, I college is definitely not like it's not as it's definitely not easy. So I mean, I still had to put in study time in high school. I did not do nothing. I literally did nothing. But I still, I was a principal on a roll the whole year. My SATs were high. 2020, 2200, and something. Can't even really remember. Honestly, I saw my grade. I'm like, ooh, that will get me good enough into some good school. And then I got a scholarship to FIU, so enough about me. Let's just get back into this gameplay. Um, I was going on about, yep, this is one of those 3D features. Uh, there's not really, I gotta give them credit. There was not a lot of frame drops in this game, per se. There wasn't too much frame drops. I know in Sonic, uh, Sonic Rush, there was a lot of frame drops. And that was just from 2D running. Damn, I only gotta be. From here, I actually did very, there was, in that one 3D part that you saw right now, you see, they're just, they're kind of trying to enforce that 3D art in here, but I mean, it's, it doesn't really mess with the frame drip, frame drop, frame rate, whatever, I'm really off today. Regardless, this is probably one of my favorite stages in Sonic games ever, I don't know, I really just, the soundtrack for this was, even as a, as a kid I loved it, I still like it right now, I really like it, I just like the design of this fucking, so, oh sorry for my profanity, I don't know, I need to express myself better right now, um, I just really love the design of this, of these levels, I really do, I love this jungle, the jungle feel, it's real, those mushrooms that you can jump on, they're just pretty, pretty fun, but, one of the funnest stages. One of the biggest complaints I had about Sonic Rush, the original, this is Sonic Adventure, 
was that um, the first two levels, especially the water one, mainly that one, the first one wasn't really a struggle, but I mean the first one. The second one was, oh my god, I hated that water part. It was like one of the hardest for me as a kid and even now, especially because I was learning the controls for PC compared to a DS, because a DS you clearly know. Uh, for PC, it's, it's it, you have to, you know, the keyboard. Ooh, I like that, that 10 combo. For PC, I had to learn the new controls, and it was a bitch, especially when you were doing that water, water stage. Again, was my profanity, holy lord. I am really sorry for trying to keep this as PG as possible. It was really something that enraged me. <laughs> it with it enraged me, it just made me feel pretty uncomfortable. The controllers, plus that water stage, it made me just kind of want to quit Sonic for a bit. I'm like, okay, I don't think I should... I'm not going to play this for the next few hours. It's it, it really got to me. I was stuck there for like 15 minutes doing the same part. <laughs> Alright, so this is one of the parts I'll say. This is probably one of the funnest on DS alone. One of the funnest boss fights I have to play. I've had played. Or have. Oh my god, I'm really off today. So anyways, I really do like just jumping off this guy's head. This boss fight reminds me a lot about the first one in Rush. But I guess it's just the platforming. And just how he jumps like that, you see? There was a part where he would knock you out in the first one. I think he does the same effect as T-Rex right here than uh, this, the Rush one. I'm playing both simultaneously. Mm, I think I'm only gonna post. I'm only gonna post the Adventure one because this is this is the, my favorite of the two. And uh, I'll probably post the next one will be the Colors because I never played Colors as a kid, so or anything. So I remember that part. Oh my God! You can when I was playing this, I remember. I'm like, oh yeah, you fall down. Yeah, so anyways, I'm going to do the color one probably next after I finish this. It shouldn't take me too long if I, you know, I reach my Super Saiyan form. <laughs> or, I don't know, the chaos. I just go Super Sonic <laughs> and just remember how to play this game. Because I remember I knew a lot of ways to skip stuff like or get good scores. Right now, I do not know. You see, this isn't that really a 3D or anything but I think they were trying to do a little extra for these stages this boss fight you see like right there no frame drop no nothing it felt semi smooth I felt a little blocky this fight right here it didn't feel completely smooth especially at this part when you were jumping up in the air you'll feel like a moment you're just standing in the air for no reason you're just, an extra frame you're just like oh when am I gonna drop down but besides that it really did a good job using the best abilities of the software and hardware that was available in 2008 and in the DS, the standard DS, before they made the DSi, I think that was the other one, and then the 3DS obviously. I honestly, this, I gotta say it's one of the better well done games using whatever they had, the materials they had. And so we're coming to a conclusion to this part one, but I mean, I can't say I just love this game and I'm just going to continue the series next week, maybe post one on Sunday. I might have to do like others because to be over with this will take me, I would say it'll take me about 10 weeks and nah, I think I'm going to post like two videos per throwback. Uh, it's going to be called throwback uh, franchise, <laughs> no, throwback gaming Thursday. <laughs> I'll think about a better name. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Well, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Catch y'all later.